guys, welcome back. I'm Julie, and I'm here to do my reaction video for the promo and a sneak peek for episode 15 of season 7 of Pretty Little Liars. You guys know how bad I feel after episode 14. If you haven't checked out my reaction video, link will be in the description below and around this video somewhere. Uh, but I'm still mad about everything that happened. I'm still mad about the fact that Marlene did that to Allison and to Emily and I don't think it's fair but like I have said many times I already watched this show this far I, we only have six more episodes to go and that's all there's gonna be for this series and even though I was I said I was sad that Pretty Little Liars was uh, going to end I'm actually not sad I'm actually want this show to freaking end finally on the last episode and to see how everything is gonna wrap I don't like the baby storyline I still think it's rape and it is rape in in a way you know uh, but you know I don't know I think I'm gonna be okay by hearing Allison say that how she she's going to react we know she's she's sad about it and she doesn't know what to do but I want to hear it from Allison not even Emily you guys know that Allison is my favorite character and I want to see how she's gonna cope with this and how she's gonna move forward with this if she's still gonna have the babies or not whatever decisions she makes and if she's happy I'm gonna be happy for her and that's it because Allison like I have said it's my favorite character all the other liars can die, I don't fucking care. Allison is my bae, so if she is okay with it, I guess I will be okay with it. Uh, I'm not, actually, but I will learn to live with it, I'm guessing. Ah, I don't know, I fucking hate Marlene King, I still maintain that, I'm still on that. Although, guys, don't let her play the victim, okay? She's been, like, she tweeted that the Amazon fandom, uh, was telling her to kill herself don't give her bullets to say that we are a hateful fandom because we are not tell her how bad we feel and tell her all that you want but don't say kill yourself because she's gonna take that as all the Amazon fandoms saying that of course I will never say that to any person because it's just childish and I but I understand why you guys said that to her but let's not give her bullets for her to play the victim in this situation because she's clearly not. But go ahead and tweet it at her how mad you guys are because she had she had a comment. I mean, she's on social media and she's a writer and she wrote that disgusting storyline. She obviously is gonna get get the backlash from the fandom. But do it. But don't tell her to kill herself or things like that so she doesn't think that she's the victim in this situation, okay? Because she's not. And yeah, well, anyways, I don't want to get mad. I get up so upset, upset with this subject. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to watch the promo, react to the promo, and to the sneak peek, and then give a, a read to the press release for this episode. Any other sneak peek um, and whatever thing, I'm going to uh, uh, do a reaction video, but this Tuesday we don't have episode for Pretty Little Liars. So I'm going to do uh, MC and Paley Pretty Little Liars crack reaction video. So if you have any good cracks for Pretty Little Liars that are new, you know, let me know that on the comment section down below. Uh, send me the link and so I can react to them and have something to post on Tuesday since we are not going to have a new episode. Okay, guys? So... That's it. Without further ado, let's just enjoy the promo. Okay, here we go. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. My turn. Come on now. We have to shut this thing down. What <laughs> <laughs> is happening about it? Oh shit! Oh, oh Emily! Oh, Emily! Keep what? What do you think you'll get out of it? We betray everyone to win. Really? Oh yes! This is the episode that Troy and directed. And don't move. An exclusive yeah. look at the next episode is just moments away, only during Famous in Love. Oh yeah, well, that promo looks really good, and this is the episode that Troyan directed. So this is the episode that Allison is going to talk about her, her sexuality. This is the episode that, the coming out episode for Allison, right? I hate that they decided to do the coming out after the baby reveal. But whatever. 
Anyways, we're gonna react to the sneak peek. And then I'm gonna do the breakdown promo. And then I'm gonna read the press release. So don't worry about it. Pretty little liars. Oh, Emily. I don't think you've ever met Ren Kingston. No. Ren, this is Ezra Fitz. Ezra Ren. Uh, pleasure. They haven't met? They look like they have met. A couple of times. I ended up with the layer from hell. Lord Spencer, and she was gracious enough to come and share the pain with me. What? Are you going someplace? Bray looks uh, so hot. Yes, well, I, I was. We'll have a drink with us. No, no thanks. Uh, you two are catching really? up, and I don't want to intrude. But listen, it was great meeting you. Same. It doesn't look like like they haven't yeah, met. Bye. All new Pretty Little Liars. What? So on free form and catch up in that was so weird. But Ren is back. We, we kind of knew that Ren was going to be back. We're going to read the press release and then we're going to do the breakdown promo. Okay, so it says, I'm going to screenshot this shit. <laughs> a liar assists the enemy in order to protect her friends. An all new episode of Pretty Little Liars. Okay, so that liar means that's Arya, the one who's going to the dark side, right? And this one is directed by Troy and Belisario. Uh, a PLO is blackmailed by AD into helping her nemesis on In the Eye Abyss, the Heart. Marlene comes up with the weirdest names for, for the episodes. Uh, okay, after being blackmailed, blackmailed by AD, one of the liars begins to supply info to the dark side in order to protect those closer to her. Detective Fury questions how much the PLLs know about the, what happened to Archer Dunhill. Arya tries to issue an ultimatum to Ezra in regards to Nicole, finally. While Emily struggles with how to support Ali. Oh, my babies. Well, especially my baby Ali. God damn it, Marlene King. Spencer goes to elaborate lengths to meet up with Mary Drake and encounters Ren. After learning something surprising about Lucas, Hannah sets out to prove her friend is innocent and uncovers even more troubling info. And another person is brought in on the secret of AD's game. Oh, that's Mona. Okay, so that's the uh, press release. It pretty much says everything that we just saw in the promo and the sneak peeks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the breakdown promo right now. Okay, so the first image we get on this promo is Mona really excited about the game and now she knows about the game. It it was you know about time that they told Mona about it because we know we need to have Mona on our side, on the liar's side, because we know that Mona suffers from you know what she dealt with in the past and we know that she goes through therapy and all that so I don't want Mona to turn evil again Mona has trying to prove herself to the liars especially to Hannah that she has changed and I do trust her I do believe that she has changed and she's really smart so we need her on the team and She's really excited uh, for the game. She says that uh, it's beautiful and all that. And we <laughs> we see uh, Mona just touching the, the game like it's the best thing. Then she's looking really close to it. And then we hear Hannah saying, my turn is up next. We need to shut this thing down. And Mona is still looking at the game, trying to find maybe ways how to open it or what it is. And Mona is about to touch something, and a freaking blade comes out of the of the game. And instead of Mona getting a scare about it, you can see that she's actually excited about this. And I don't want you know what? It's really cute that she does this, and that she gets up and she's like excited that the game is actually working and that it the game knows that she's there. Uh, but I don't want her to go to the dark side. I think it will be. Too repetitive if Mona gets into the back into the bad side again. Then we have Spencer that we, we didn't know what a scene this was and she was covering her face because of the light and we see Marco Fury saying all the theories I can come up with turn return to you or come come back to you and I, I'm guessing that he remembers this is the first time that they met Spencer said to him, he asked, what were you being up to tonight? And she says, I was burying a body. 
and then she she doesn't laugh. He laughs because he, he thinks that's something really funny, but Spencer doesn't laugh. So he seems like a smart cop. So I'm guessing that he is putting two and two together and and maybe have some intel that he's not letting on on the liars, you know, on Spencer, like letting her know that he knows a little bit more than he lets on. Then we have a short uh, one second um, shot of Emson. I think they are on Alice's bathroom. Alice's? What is, who the fuck is Alice's? Alice's uh, bathroom. And they are talking. I'm guessing that they are like this is maybe the part where uh, Emily and Al well Allison talks about her feelings and I, I just I hate the way they are doing. I hate the way they are making her talk about her feelings when she is like corner and she doesn't have another option to deal with them. You know, which. I get that this is a, a series that have a lot of drama and all that. I get it that they like to shock the people and all that. Uh, but having the a bisexual character come out just because minutes, like minutes before or days before, she finds out that she was technically raped or her body was violated by someone that she doesn't even know because it wasn't Archer the one who did that. She said that. It wasn't Archie, it was someone else. Uh, so after finding out, it's just so stupid and falls into the trope that um, ladies, gay uh, women and uh, a bisexual woman, they don't like to have, or they don't like to have sex with guys because they were raped or something like that, which happens, but it doesn't always happen like that, and they are doing it. And I just, I feel so bad for that storyline, but whatever. I, I just, I hope that they deal with it in a delicate way. Even though I think this episode was written by Joseph Doherty. And we know that he hates Emson. And we know that he loves Paley. And that's why on the previous episode, Paley actually kissed. Even though all this season, like, Emily didn't say to to... Paige that she wanted to get back together. We knew that Paige wanted to get back together with her, but Emily was just really worried about Allison and she was dealing with her own things and I don't think she even had time to to think about that. She just always said that Paige is a safe place. That doesn't mean love, that doesn't mean endgame, it's just that it's easier for Emily to just fall back to be with Paige because of the history they have. That doesn't scream a healthy relationship either, but whatever. Then we hear one liar is about to lose, and while we hear that, we see Spencer, and I think this is when she finds a note or something, because we have seen that on other promos. We see Emily really uh, looking really upset, and I am guessing that we all know why she's upset. Uh, and it looks like she's talking to... No, someone is passing by, but she's like really upset. And then we see Ezra, and I think they are, are they at the airport or a train station or what? And then she says to Ezra, do you think that we can keep this to ourselves? Meaning what? That she doesn't want people to know that she was talking to Ren? I don't think that's where she's going. I think she, since we read that she's looking for Mary, I don't think that she wants a lot of people to know that she's still looking for her birth mother so I guess that's why she asked that to Ezra and you know this little weirdo who I love I love Ren he was so cute and he looks so cute uh, still looks so cute so I don't know I don't know if it's uh, because I think that Ren could be AD and I don't know why he's here again um, but there's something fishy about him and about Ezra. That interaction we got on the sneak peek is not really normal. And it looked like they already knew each other. Uh, and Ezra looks really like, why is she asking me this? And then we hear the voiceover says, and Arya. And we see Arya. I don't think that that uh, jacket that she's wearing is not like a coat. Like, she's not the new red coat, I'm guessing. But she is working now for AD because Arya wants out. That's what she wants. She wants out and 
sadly she doesn't care too much about her friends. At least I didn't saw that on the previous episode because I, honestly I don't know. I, I, I don't... I, I like to believe that Arya is involved and that Arya is going to be a bad person so I'm rooting for that but at the same time I'm sad for the liars because they are gonna lose a friend if she is. And then we have Arya talking again on, um, you know, video call with AD. What do you get out of this? What do you want? And we see Arya. Uh, I think this is behind uh, the brew, and she's behind a dumpster, maybe hiding from Ezra. And the voiceover says Arya will betray everyone to win. And we see Arya getting into the school and opening I'm guessing that she's opening her own locker and she finds the black hoodie and I'm guessing this is the same scene where Emerson runs away maybe and we see Arya looking really suspicious I mean I, I think that in this episode Arya finally says yes to AD's proposal which is terrible if you think about it but at the same time it makes it interesting that we see that Arya is working with someone else just to you know try to figure things out, try to make them escapes, but she's on the way, she's gonna uh, make a few mistakes and she's gonna have to play games with her friends, so... Also, the girls are gonna start getting suspicious if it's never Arya's turn. So that also will create some tension between them, so... Yeah, I mean, that's at least a little bit interesting. And then we have this sneak peek, which is just uh, an Spencer, Ezra, and Ren scene. Before the actual sneak peek, we get this little photo, like this little preview of Hannah and Emily, looking really worried, looking at something, I don't know what it is, uh, but they look really worried. And it's from this episode because she's wearing the same shirt. Uh, Emily's wearing the same shirt she was wearing on the restaurant when she's talking to someone. So the sneak peek, it's basically just Spencer introducing Ren to Ezra and saying, you know, Ren was going to be my uh, brother-in-law a couple of times. And, well, they have a chat about that. Nothing really important. The only thing that looks weird is when they... The, the remark that Spencer says, I don't think you have met him before. Meaning Ren. That she, he hadn't met... Ren and Ren and Ar and Ezra don't. If you want to look really closely, you can maybe come up with the idea that they do knew each other, but um, I don't know. They seem like really weird, and also the fact that Ezra doesn't want to have drinks with them or anything, uh, and also kind of kind of weird. So yeah, well, we don't get too much from this sneak peek. Just that introduction of Ren back to the show. So. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of theories about Ren, and the most popular one is the fact that Ren is somehow related to Arya. Uh, and I have explained this a couple of times here on the channel, but here I go again. The connection was that Arya has a, had an uncle. Back in season one, Ella and Byron talked about an uncle that was unstable, like, yeah. And he was in a psychiatrist, something like uh, like a, a mental institution or something like that. And Ren has a dad who was also uh, in that uh, situation. So if we put two and two together, it could be that Ren and Arya are cousins. You know, we know that everyone is related to everyone in Rosewood. So um, it could be. I mean, they could be cousins. And why will Ren? target the girls, you know, why? I, I, I think that this new AD, we were led to believe that it was because he wanted revenge on Charlotte's death, so we're gonna have to see the, the connection there. But like I said, maybe the uh, Uber A or this uh, AD doesn't necessarily is, like, he's giving Lucas and all the people that it won revenge on Charlotte the tools to destroy the liars But it doesn't mean ultimately that that's the reason why he's doing it and he has his minions to do it You know, he just wants to Terrorize the liars for some reason that we don't know 
So, I don't know, it's not clear yet. We are six episodes away and we don't know the main reason why AD wants them uh, to suffer. I mean, we get the... they want to avenge uh, Charlotte, but then it looks like something else, so I don't know. It's not really clear, but whose fault is that? Marlene's, not mine. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and review and breakdown and everything that it is. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to see more reaction videos. I do reaction videos for a lot of shows, and like I said, I want to do some cracked reaction videos for Emerson. You know, if you find something like Emerson versus Paley, crack if there is one out there i will really like to watch it uh, and react to it but i hope that emerson wins you know um, i don't want paley to be in game on the crack or i don't know just the funniest crack you can find about pretty little liars emerson paley or whatever ship on pretty little liars just send it to me here on youtube like on the comments or if you want you can tweet it at me i'm gonna try to react to two or three cracks so yeah please do that and I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you guys next time for another reaction video for Pretty Little Liars. Mwah. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.